Hi guys, today I'm going to be filming my top 10 MAC lipsticks. So if you're interested in knowing what my all-time favorite lipsticks are, then keep on watching. Alrighty, now we're going to start with number 10, and it is Cream Cup, which is a cream sheen finish. It is your perfect nude without being too chalky or too light. It looks so gorgeous with just natural makeup or a neutral smoky eye. So I rediscovered this in my stash, and I've been loving it so far. Coming up is number 9, which is Ravishing. This is also a cream sheen finish. Ravishing is the perfect shade of peach or light coral. I get a lot of compliments on it whenever I wear it. It's perfect for daytime wear. And yep, I love that. A lot. Coming up is number 8, Chatterbox. This is an amplified finish. This is your semi-bright girly pink, mm, verging on neon on lighter skin tones. It clashes with my skin tone sometimes whenever I'm tanned, um, but I love it nonetheless, and I'm pretty sure you will too. Next is Viva Glam Nikki. It is a satin finish, which means it is semi-matte. It is um, a pink with yellow undertones and with a kiss of blue. It is very opaque and very comparable to Chatterbox, by the way, but this one is slightly brighter. So yeah, I love that very much too. And okay, Melissa, enough with the funny faces. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, this one is Russian Red. Everyone and their mother has this lipstick. It is comparable to Ruby Woo, um, but I like this a lot more. It is a matte finish. It is my go-to sophisticated red. Very vintage, very old Hollywood glamour, very Marilyn Monroe-esque. It is a true red that lasts on my lips for more than six hours. Okay, I'm trying to get this lipstick off my lips and look. How disgusting. Okay, here we go. Number five, we have Candy Yum Yum. So this is a matte finish and it is neon. Complete neon. Bam! I just said bam right there. It is very blue based too and I feel like everybody should have this lipstick as well. Number four, we have Daddy's Little Girl. I apologize if you cannot get your hands on this lipstick anymore. Um, there are a lot of other similar lipsticks out there. So anyway, this is a satin finish. It is... Da -da -da. What is that? Okay, it's a mid-tone pink violet with blue undertones. Number three, we have Rebel. It is a satin finish. It is part of your permanent range. It is a berry red with a slightly frosted sheen and also a little bit of sheerness. So if you want that vampy lip, go get you some. Okay, I've been trying to get this off my lips, but it's hard. Life's tough. And oh my, look at that stain on my teeth. How gross is that? Please forgive me. Number two, we have Scarlet Ibis. It is, once again, limited edition, part of the Marilyn Monroe collection. It's a matte finish. My go-to going out lipstick, because I am more of an orangey red type of girl, and I suggest all of you to go get you this lipstick. Try, like, try Lady Danger, too, if you can't find this one. My all-time favorite, I repeat, my favorite lipstick of all time. It is Kinda Sexy. Now, Kinda Sexy is a peach nude with mm, pinker undertones, not drying at all, which is a big plus. It flatters almost every skin tone. It is beautiful. It looks amazing on absolutely everybody. Own one of these babies. It is lovely, and you're gonna be converted to kind of sexy for it. this video. And please subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.